Hey guys, Mr. O'Brien here. And in this video, we're going to describe the role of ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and the nucleus in the production of proteins. So we're going to take a closer look at how these organelles actually allow our proteins to be made, modified, and shipped to where they need to go. So this is part three of your topic six, DNA replication and protein synthesis. So last video, we specifically talked about how were proteins made. We talked about transcription and translation. Well, they do need to be transported from place to place, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, when we're looking at the role in protein synthesis, we are looking at exactly what is their job and what specifically are they doing. So we're not necessarily describing the nucleus. We're describing them in terms of protein. So the nucleus is where the instructions from proteins are stored in the form of DNA. So in this sense, DNA are all of our instructions inside of our body. So the nucleus stores this information. DNA cannot leave the nucleus. And because of its size, a gene is translated into mRNA to leave that nucleus. So inside of here, we have all of our DNA uncoiled. So our DNA is so large, it, it, I mean, if we stretched it out of one cell from end to end, we could theoretically wrap it around the Earth. If we take all of our cells, we can get to the moon and back a few times with that. So DNA is very large. So in order for the instructions to leave, we need to tr uh, transcribe that into mRNA. Again, nucleus stores, though, all of our genetic information. Now, we also have these structures called ribosomes. Now, the RNA that is produced in the nucleus is sent to the ribosomes, which produces the proteins inside of our cells. So ribosomes are like the cell factory. Okay, it's the cell factory in the sense that it is making things. In this sense, we are making uh, proteins. So ribosomes are located in two locations. On the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which you can see right here, as well as floating, floating freely in the cytoplasm. Again, if we want to break this down into simple, simplicity, okay, our ribosomes make proteins. Okay, so these proteins are found or are made and then sent to other places as instructions. Now, the next one we have is what's referred to as the endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Now, the endoplasmic reticulum takes the proteins that are made by the ribosomes and folds them into sacs and transports them to the Golgi body. So what happens here is the endoplasmic reticulum is modifying the proteins. And we are folding them into a specific shape that allows them to work properly. Now, endoplasmic reticulum ships things within the cell. So that's a key here. It ships within the cell. Okay, so again, that's a little bit of a distinguishing factor between endoplasmic reticulum and the next one, which is the Golgi apparatus. Now, the Golgi apparatus that you see right here is, all, is a series of folds or membranes that kind of look like flattened pancakes, right? So molecules that leave the um, endoplasmic reticulum in a vesicle, they attach to the Golgi apparatus where they are modified again. So the molecules leave in a vesicle. So this right here is a transport vesicle. That's where our proteins are stored. Now, the, when the molecules enter the Golgi, they are modified for the last time and released out of the cell in another vesicle. But the key here and the key difference is that the Golgi apparatus ships proteins out of the cell. Now they are still modifying them, and that's the final modification before they're completely finished. So ER modifies and ships them to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi apparatus does a final modification and releases them out of the cell. 
So if we're looking at the steps here, right, we go from the nucleus, okay, and again, we're starting in the nucleus where our DNA is, and we're making mRNA, which transports to the ribosomes where our proteins are made. Once our proteins are made, they're modified and packaged in the rough endoplasmic reticulum where they're sent as vesicles to the Golgi apparatus where they are modified one more time and sent out of the cell. Again, it's a simple step-by-step -step process. So to kind of just review here and kind of go through, step one, DNA found in the nucleus as it contains the genetic information needed for forming the codes of amino acids. In the nucleus, ribosomes are formed and they are made from proteins and RNA. Ribosomes move to the cytoplasm and by the help of mRNA, proteins are synthesized. Some ribosomes are attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, also synthesized proteins. Proteins travel from the rough ER to the Golgi apparatus to make some modification and collect proteins inside the vesicles. The vesicles are detached from the Golgi apparatus and sent to other organelles or sent outside of the cell. So hopefully this helps you out with kind of showing how do these organelles of the endomembrane system help the production of proteins. So again, this is part three of your topic six chapter of DNA replication and protein synthesis. Hopefully this helps you out. This is Mr. O'Brien signing off.